Wait, do it Night Abyss. All characters ultimate. Wait, we can we can watch this too. I was very I, I was very Red hopeful character. that I would get to play this game. I wasn't I, I didn't get in, but the the the, the test the test alone was very short, so I'm, I was gonna play this game, but I heard a lot of good things about 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 the playtest. That the story is very nice, the music is very nice. Uh, I haven't really heard about uh, about the characters themselves, but uh, let's watch it. Those are quite unique, despite the fact that every character can equip each single weapon type. In this video, I want to go over all of the available characters in the technical test, showing the ultimate skills and kits. And we are going to start out with the main heroine of the game, which is Berenica. Let's quickly get this over with and go home. Surrender. Her ultimate summons. Oh, I love the music. Holy shit! If, if, wait, is this or, 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 original music from the from the from the game? It's it, so, it gives me uh, automata vibes. Wait, 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 l wait, let me, let me, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Go back a little bit. fact that every character can equip each single weapon type. In this video, I want to go over all of the available characters in the technical test, showing the ultimate skills and kits. And we are going to start out with the main heroine of the game, which is Berenica. Let's quickly get this over with and go home. Yes, this is game music. Oh, it's so good! Summons her signature weapon, Emir, and this will override and replace her current melee weapon, whichever you have equipped, for the duration of her ultimate. If you build her the right way, she can stay half of the time roughly in her ultimate form, which makes her float mid-air and cleave. Her E skill is a fast charging forward attack with her signature weapon, and it can be spent multiple times. Oh wait, I I do dig her putting the the blade in her in her in her like uh, arm uh, arm sheath. It's 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 uh, it's uh, Lucia, Lucia does does the same thing with uh, punishing Ray Raven, no? Times. Aside from the two Let's go. skills, each character has a passive ability. And for Baranica, this is when dealing damage with a sword, there's a chance to restore sanity. So sanity is the main resource with which you can use skills. And okay, like mana. So it's quite huge. So as I said, every character can equip every weapon type. However, some characters have best passive abilities that, that looks cool. encourage you to use. Ooh, a maid. Weapon. Next we have Hilda, which has been my personal favorite character of the game. She's a maid and fighting with plasma dirt expellers. She's dealing pyro damage and the way her kit works is basically every time you hit an enemy with her ultimate. Dr. Octavius? Summon is that you? Now Octavius, sorry. One of these plasma dirt expellers and their passive ability is that these plasma dirt expellers every three seconds shoot the enemy. And with your E skill, you just make them circle around you and shoot plasma all the time. Oh, you can see FPS is going down. That's cool. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Oh, the music is so good. Holy shit. Very well. I'll follow your orders for now. It really gives me near automata vibes. Next oh, it, oh, it's so, oh, it's so similar to, wait, to Emil's. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Beatty or Tabith, however you pronounce. She has, in my opinion, the funniest ultimate and kit in the game. She's making use of tentacles that can grab and hold. Why? That's a Splatoon character, no? Hold the enemies, and if you use your ultimate, it will instantly summon nine tentacles. That can be a maximum of 18 tentacles on the field. And basically, Bro, that's like said, they can grab the enemy, and your E skill makes them attack additionally, and you can spend that a lot. So, huge damage if you have those 18 tentacles up, and it just looks mad silly and mad fun. Okay, that's kind of cool. Ouch. That hurt. Not really. Demon. Like, 
if I would be down bad, I would say something down bad, but I'm 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 not as degenerate like as I could be, so <laughs> there will be no comments on this one. Okay. The next character is kind of wild. She the pig has girl, a right? Pet pig that she can summon, oh, bro. which is called Philbrot. Arataki Ito. She can shoot it forward with her E skill, and her ultimate she can ride on. Bro, that's hog, no? Passive gives you damage increase <laughs> and damage taken decrease stacks up to 10 stacks based on how long you're already riding on the pick Ayo? so for our Ayo? exploration it's really great you don't encounter enemies for for a while and then you encounter enemies suddenly pig's name is Felbert. damage stacks can that's based and then just move on exploring this is gonna hurt here. I'll just write on the pig. It's my honor. Oh, it's oh, okay. It's Zhao combined with Danko. Nice. <laughs> Actually, his face is kind of similar to Zhang Li's. Electro damage dealer, which was around plunging. His ultimate skill is somewhat. <laughs> You cannot make this! Okay! Yuming is an electro damage dealer which revolves around plunging. His ultimate skill summons a dragon that circles him, which makes him stun in ruin. <laughs> with free skill, you can jump high in the sky, and then with your melee attack, you can plunge down and deal a huge amount of plunge damage. Interesting is that you can spam the E skill, so you can make double, triple, or four times jump. I'll take it. Okay. Hey, yeah, it's literally Duncan and Zhao combined. Let me provide medicine for the battles to come. Next, we have the dedicated healer of the game, Fushu. But she's not only a healer, she's also super, super strong. Her ultimate gives her 80% attack speed increase. I mean, yeah, I see. Just look at it. Her E skill summons a sphere called Yunchi. You can have out two of them at the same time, and those will cover health for you and your party members. Okay. Also, when one of your teammates is dying, that sphere will rescue the dying teammate, but that's only one time per battle per teammate. I wish my journey wouldn't end so soon. Psyche is an animal damage oh, dealer that transforms during her ultimate into a levitating cannon, which kind of reminds me a little bit of a Gundam, so she can fire at her enemies while oh, flying cool. around, stay out of range of melee attacks, and additionally her E skill, she can place a decoy that enemies will attack, so with her it's really easy to avoid taking damage all that much. I think she's, she's kind of interesting. Next we have Rebecca, which is a Hydro Damage Dealer. So first of all, she can summon three jellyfish. They are called... Oh, I remember Yara her Rita, from the... She can summon three of them at the same time. And they deal quite a lot of damage to Yarita, And she can summon three of them at the same She's my favorite thus far. <laughs> For no particular reason. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, she is taking me places. At the same okay. time, they deal quite a lot of damage by themselves. And her passive ability makes her inflict 
poison on the target that stacks up to six times. Okay, so that's uh, Kokomi, but she's a good, she's actually a bad bitch, and she looks hot. And her ultimate basically deals more damage on enemies based on the number of stacks they have. That's cool. Okay, she have a. Oh, wait, so you cannot. This ultimate. You won't live long oh. To pay oh, okay. That's the lady with the ass shot on on the trailer. She had like the juicy ass shot on the trailer. I I. <laughs> I think she may be my. Wait, is she going faster? Oh, she is going faster. Okay, I like this. Last but not least, we have Lin, which is a pyro gunner. I really like the idea of mixing gunner and archer design here. I really think. Okay, that's cool. Themselves. She's my favorite one so far. And okay, yep. basically revolves around her signature weapon. When she activates her ultimate, her ranged weapon gets swapped out for dual wielding guns that are pretty strong. In her ultimate state, she is not able to move anymore, but she can constantly. Spam well, look at this cake! In her ultimate what state, the fuck? She is not able to move no. anymore. Look! Her ass is enormous! But. They fucking knew what they were doing! Okay, so we have this. We have Rebecca. Okay, Re Rebecca is our Yandere vibes. Uh... <laughs> oh my god! Look at this! That's enormous! I want to die inside of it! What? She can constantly spam her ultimate attack. And the attack speed will get faster and faster and stack up, up to 35 stacks. So huge damage, huge attack speed. Her E skill is a single shot with her signature weapon. For most characters in the game, you will see that they always have like an on-demand damage skill and a self buff. And for some characters, sometimes the E skill is the self buff, like for Hilda. And for other characters, like for Lin, the ultimate is the self buff. The activation for the self buff is usually less costly, but it will cost you more and more sanity as you keep up the ultimate or your self buff while the on demand skill. Okay, so uh, our top three that we are going for is Lin, is Rebecca, and is Fusher. Is straight off the bat, like pretty expensive, but gives you damage. I think they did a really good job with making the characters very unique and different, especially the ultimate skills are kind yeah, of Yeah, the show is very different. Characters. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. It is Thanks cool. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bro, like, Lynn is... Bro, Lynn is not a cake. She, she doesn't have a cake. She's not even a bakery. That's an entire fucking facility. What the fuck? I like it. Yeah, we're gonna play it when it's out. There's a lot of good gacha games lately. Like